Six beats. What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warrior Aviators and Superhero Hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja and today we're doing another tutorial with our bow staff on a palm spin. Now I've done this before but I figured it's been enough time and I can cover it again for those of you that want to learn how to do the trick that you saw in the beginning of this video. Jazz. No, drop it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're gonna skip the combo because this is not a combo tutorial. If you want me to do a combo with this trick in it, let me know down below in the comments below. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a strike using our right hand on top, holding a bow step just like this with our thumbs up, right hand on top, and we're gonna strike out to the right or to the left side, just like this, with your right hand forward, striking out. The bow staff is underneath your armpit on the opposite side. So what you're going to do is you're gonna slide your right hand to the middle of your bow staff. You want it to be as center as you can. If it, if it doesn't balance, it's not gonna work right. It has to be right in the middle and you can get used to whatever staff you're using by just knowing where that is, putting a grip that's closer, that helps you know it. Or if you don't have a grip and it's all like one solid color, just Practice finding out where your balance is. It's good to know where the balance of your weapons are. And I will have links to both stuff so that you can get and reviews down in the description below and at the end of this video. So once you find your balance, you're gonna slide your hand to the balance point that you found and you're going to rotate with your hand all the way around just like this until you can get your palm facing forward just like I am right here. So you're at your strike, bang, you found your balance, you rotate, and as you get to the end of your rotation, you're going to flatten your hand. Now, a couple things are important. My arm is bent, it's not super high out of the way because if you do that, it's very hard to keep it spinning and staying on your hand, it usually will roll off in one direction or another. And so keeping your arm bent relatively close to your head actually makes it easier. So I say that to say, don't be afraid of your weapon. If you're afraid of your weapon, it's actually easier to get hit and get hurt when doing stuff like this. Call Kenny Loggins, cause you're in the danger zone <sighs> from Top Gun. Just be careful. Then what you're gonna work on is getting your balance, rotating, and then opening your hand, making sure it doesn't roll off. Once you can get it consistently so that it doesn't roll off and it doesn't fall one side to the other, then you can go and add it all together and do it all in one fluid motion because that will give you the spin that you're looking for. So nice and slowly, you have your strike, finding your balance, rotating, rotating, and letting it spin freely. All you're doing is flattening out your hand. Now you can wiggle your fingers and that adds for the effect but you do not have to. <laughs> you serious? Altogether, the trick will look like this. Now, there are also variations that you can do to add on to this. You can do pops where you just toss the bow staff above you and stuff like that. You can do a pop and catch it behind your back. You can do a pop where you pop it up and then keep spinning it on your hand. There are endless ways to combo into this, combo out of it, and change up the trick to fit whatever the look and style you want to go with. And if you want me to do variations of this trick, let me know down in the comments below because, you know, I read comments and I try to respond to as many as I can. So let me know what you think. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.